I just decided to do this story right now. You know. So this happened uh, probably a few weeks ago, last month. Uh, it was actually going to the last week of school. <laughs> and, you know, I was just getting off of, you know, after school program, DJ class. And we, myself and a couple of uh, poets here, we're going to this, uh, what's the name? Casa Libre. Casa Libre to, you know, spit our phones and stuff like that. And so I was actually leaving, going to take the bus, and then eventually I actually got picked up by Josie and uh, Enrique over there. <laughs> so we were on our way. I am a horrible storyteller. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, right. So we were on our way. And by the time we got there, we met up with Sarah. You know, eventually she was just walking all by herself. And, you know, it was sort of strange because she just looked like a weird stranger. And so we had no idea what she was doing. Well, obviously, but we didn't know where she was going. So we eventually we actually met up with her, started walking with her. We ended up going to this, uh, little smoothie place down the street. This is, uh, you know, downtown Tucson, eventually. Sadly enough. After we got our smoothies, we hit the corner of where the place was at, and me just standing there, a random guy, <laughs> he was drunk off his ass, looked at me, tapped me, and said, woohoo, I'm fucked up, 21. <laughs> Apparently it was his 21st birthday and I had no idea I was going to be the butt end of a joke. After he walked away, we went down the street to Gasoline Gray. We stopped, we were just talking, you know, having fun, making up jokes and stuff like that. And another crazy guy on a bike literally stops, stares at me, asks me, are you mad, bro? <laughs> Look at me again, are you mad, bro? He asked me this four or five times until I just answered, what? I was confused <laughs> and tired at the same time. I guess the moral of the story is, don't hang out with me. <laughs> because eventually I'll attract weird people. 